I'm sure we've seen all of the Barbie trends going around. I'm sure we see all of the Barbie makeup looks. I'm sure we've seen all of the pink fragrances. I'm sure we've seen all of the Barbie brand deal. And you know what? I'm gonna add to that content today by making a Barbie themed perfume video. If this is your first time here, enjoy the ride. And if you see my beautiful face before, Hey bestie, and if you like, comment, subscribe, or watch my last video, I'm sure you all know what price you get. You get a high five, thank you. I thought it would be fun to like pair each Barbie with a certain fragrance, and that's what I'm doing today. Don't worry, no spoilers in this video. I'm just gonna show each Barbie and the fragrance that would go well with them. Also, make sure you stay tuned to the very end because the last three are the most fun out of all of these other fragrances. So. You have to stick around to see that and we're just going to hop right into it. So the first Barbie is President Barbie, which is played by Miss Issa Rae. I was so excited to see Issa in the Barbie movie because I love her. And so I thought it was just so cute to see her in the Barbie movie. And so the scent that I chose for President Barbie is none other than Fenty Eau de Parfum. I feel like Fenty Eau de Parfum screams class, it screams power, it screams control, it screams boss bitch. I felt like this was such a great scent to pair with President Barbie, or any president at that. Like if I if I was president, vice president, I would definitely wear a Fenty Eau de Parfum. So for President Barbie, I chose Fenty Eau de Parfum. Next is Diplomatic Barbie. This next fragrance has a very unique and also very like powerful essence to it. It has some sweetness, it has some floral. It just really stands out. But I felt like this matched Diplomatic Barbie's personality the most. And that is Gran Ballo um, by Cosmorati. I haven't spoke about this fragrance at all on my channel, I don't think, but yeah, I figured this would pair very well with Diplomatic Barbie. If you watch the movie, let me know if you agree that Grand Bala would definitely fit. It's a very intriguing, it pulls you in, it has sweetness to it, it's fun, it's spunky, but also like it does the business. Grand Bala by Cosmorati for Diplomatic Barbie. The next was an aquatic Barbie. We had a mermaid Barbie. And I don't have that fra this fragrance on hand, but I've smelled it several times. It's very salty. It's very like unique. Um, and it is Seahorse by Zoologist. I'll pop it somewhere on the screen. Um, like I said, it's, it's a salty fragrance that's also unisex. And for me, I feel like mermaids have a little unisex flair because they are so magical. Um, we aren't sure what mermaids are, merman. But I felt like Seahorse by Zoologist was definitely Mermaid Barbie. I couldn't get the scent out of my head. As soon as I saw Mermaid Barbie, I knew that they had to, I, I knew they had to be together. I knew I had to pair them together. And it just, I don't know, it just fits perfectly. When you think of Seahorse, you think of Mermaid, do you? I don't know, I know I do. But anyway, Seahorse by Zoologist for Miss Mermaid Barbie. The next Barbie is Lawyer Barbie. And I feel like this, for I've mentioned this fragrance before on my channel, probably like two to three other times. You have to go back on my channel and watch the, my past videos to know how I feel about this fragrance. But I felt like Lawyer Barbie needed something that is feminine, but also isn't too much. As a lawyer, you don't want your fragrance to overpower what you're saying, but you also want to make a statement. And I feel like this makes a strong, powerful statement. This is for a confident woman. This is for someone who wants to know that they mean business. They mean business and they're going to wear this fragrance. And that is Les On Dangerous by Killian. Like I said, I've mentioned this fragrance several times on my channel. I feel like this isn't too much. Killian fragrances to me scream very demanding, but not being overbearing. And I felt like Laison Deja Roos would pair very well with Lawyer Barbie. I feel like my lips is really giving brats girl, but that's okay, cause low key I am a brats girl. Don't tell nobody, don't tell nobody. Next we have, y'all are gonna be like, what the heck? 
Next we have Dr. Barbie. This one was kind of tough. Cause I'm like, when I go to the doctor's office, what does my doctor smell like? I don't think I've ever smelled a doctor that smells like anything. You know, I did a little research searchy and found out that, you know, you're not really supposed to wear fragrances as a doctor. And so my pairing for Dr. Barbie is nothing i don't feel like dr barbie needs to wear anything being a doctor is a statement in itself and you don't need a fragrance to kind of help you with that being a a, a woman doctor a female doctor is enough now gymnast barbie was she was just very funny um she was my absolute favorite she was so fun she was so spunky she was all over the place she was bubbly um and i felt like the fragrance that went so well with gymnast barbie which i didn't think she was a gymnast barbie i just thought she was like the weird barbie but she is the gymnast barbie and the scent that i wanted to pair with gymnast barbie is saturday by ariel shoshana and it matches her outfit so it's like definitely a perfect pairing this saturday is so juicy it smells like fruity bubble gum. It's popping. Like it smells like pop rocks. Like I said, this is so fun. Like when I smell this, like my eyes get big and I get really like euphoric and hyper. It smells like pop rocks and bubble gum, but in a nice mature way. And so I feel like Saturday by Ariel Shoshana pairs perfectly with gymnast, weirdo, funky, spunky, happy, go lucky, but realist, Barbie. Next is physicist Barbie. And when I think of a scientist, when I think of a physicist, when I think of anybody with like a scientific or science background or STEM background, me coming from a STEM background, I have a STEM background. And so I can say this, I can say what I'm about to say out of my mouth. But when I think about someone with a STEM background, I don't necessarily correlate them with fragrances like no fragrance or it is now this is just a generalization don't fight me they smell like their work because you know sometimes they're working outside um if you're a geologist you know all those things the the best pairing for physicist barbie i felt like in my opinion is Bal de Freak by Barreto. It's like an earthy sweet. Also, if you want to know my full review on Bal de Freak by Barreto, make sure you go check out my video. I do have a Barreto video on my channel and I'll make sure to pin that or post that or link it down below. Bal de Freak by Barreto, I felt like would pair very well with physicist Barbie. She's so smart, but she's, this also smells like science. Like if I were to go into a, a science lab, not a chem lab, not besides a chem lab. Um, if I were going to a lab, I would automatically think they are wearing Bal de Freak by Barreto. It's not too much, but it's there. All right, we are down to the last three. And you're probably like, where's the main Barbie? Where's everything Barbie? What about Ken? And she's not gonna talk about Ken? Guys, hold your horses. <laughs> hold your horses. I am, I, we're doing it now. We are absolutely doing it now. The fragrance that I would pair with everything Barbie, the main Barbie, is my favorite fragrance. I talked about this in the beginning of my channel. I've talked about this fragrance so much. I'm in love with this fragrance and it just screams. Before I even knew this Barbie movie was coming out because I got this years ago, I said, this reminds me of being like a Barbie, being so posh, everyone wants to be around you. You are that girl. You are the coolest girl that anyone will ever meet, but you're also so welcoming. But you know how to step it up. You know how to stretch your stuff. Nolita by Bond number nine is the absolute OG, has to be the OG Barbie fragrance. It just smells like what Barbie would wear. It's floral, it's sweet, it's inviting. I feel like it's crowd pleasing as well, which everything Barbie, needs to be a crowd pleaser. Um, so Nolita by Bond number nine. Look at the look at the bottle. Doesn't this just scream like OG Barbie? Doesn't this just remind you of a Barbie doll? It even smells like it too. I know earlier in this video that I said, wait till the end for the best three. And I've already named Barbie and you know I'm about to name Ken. So you're probably wondering who the third is. Keep on watching, I'm about to get there. You're gonna be like, huh? Keep on watching. Next we have Ken played by Ryan Gosling and we all know Ken. He's 
He's all about the beach. Whenever you see Ken, you always see him with some beachy themed thing. And I felt like Ken, in order to stand next to a powerful Barbie, you have to be powerful yourself, which means you also have to smell powerful. This just screams Ken. It is Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. It is an aquatic but powerful, freshy citrus fragrance. This is my absolute favorite fragrance. And this is actually technically a male fragrance. And I just thought that Afternoon Swim would fit Ken so perfectly. Swim in the name. Ken is all about the beach, all about the water, um, all about surfing. If you watch the movie, you know. If you know, you know. I K Y K Y. I, no, I-Y-K, I-Y-K-Y-K, Ken. Oh my gosh, I can just, I would definitely pair Afternoon Swim with Mr. Ken. We are down to the last and final one. I thank y'all so much for, you know, sticking around to the end of this video. The last character from the Barbie movie that you probably don't even remember unless you've watched the Barbie movie is Alan. Alan is just in the shadows. Alan is just Alan. Um, I'm not gonna say too much about Alan because I want y'all to watch the movie, but I felt like the, the perfect fragrance to pair with Alan from the movie, Lou Papier by Diptyque. This is a very good fragrance. I love this fragrance so much. Um, I had to kind of put it down because within a, a week I got down to here. So I was like, slow it down. Alan is just behind the scenes. Do you know who Alan is? Exactly. He's just there. Alan is also very sweet if you get to know him. I feel like these two would pair very well together because this is not a very loud fragrance, but it does have a, a touch of sweetness in the back. You wouldn't be able to smell this unless you were literally shoulder to shoulder, neck to neck, throat to throat, head to head with Alan. Um, and nobody knows Alan until Alan is neck to neck, toe to toe, head to head around. So, um, Lou Papier by Detique would be for Alan. I thank y'all so much for tuning into today's video and for sticking around until the end. If you haven't done so already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I want you to comment what you would pair OG Barbie with, like everything Barbie and what you would pair Ken with. Let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know. Or are my, are my fragrance choices spot on? Let me know, I kinda wanna know um, what you think about this and if I should do more of these. If you haven't watched my last video, go do that. If you haven't watched the video after this, go do that. What are you doing? Why are you still here? And I'll see you next time. Thank you, my